Hello, my name is David G, and I'll be your guide on this beautiful journey of 40 days of transformation as we tap into the stillness and the silence that rests within, that oneness, that connection to source, to the universe, to God, to self. Each day I'll share with you, and then we'll meditate together. I'll close with a meta moment, a practical step that we can take in our lives to keep the transformation rippling. But before we begin our journey together, I have two requests. One, comfort is queen. So feel free to get into the most comfortable position possible. And two, share the process with as many people as you can through emails, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, Tumblr. It's all free so everyone can participate. We're using mantra and breath throughout these meditations. And today I'd like to start with the mantra, I am, I am. Other mantras that we'll use will be in Sanskrit and other languages, but today, let's just connect to the fact that we exist, to the fact that we are one. Let's embrace that oneness, our universality. There's a beautiful expression in Sanskrit, tat tvam asi, tat tvam asi. You are that, which essentially heralds our oneness. It connects us. It allows us to truly embrace everyone on the planet, every being on the planet, everything on this planet, on this beautiful third rock from the sun. And so we use the mantra, I am, which heralds the thought that you are that, I am that, I am you, and you are me. So let's begin. First, let's get comfortable and let's close our eyes. And together, let's take a long, slow, deep breath in. And let's gently let that go. And let's do that one more time. And effortlessly release. And as you gently follow your breath in and out, in and out, Feel yourself settling, settle down. Feel yourself melt into your chair or your cushion or the floor or the ground. Gently close your eyes and with each breath in, feel yourself become a bit more gentle. And with each breath out, feel yourself surrender and soften. I'm sharing one of the most powerful mantras because it heralds our existence. It celebrates the oneness without having us creep or step into the future or fall or drift back into the past. In this moment, you're whole. In this moment, you are pure, unbounded consciousness. And so by heralding that fact, I am, I am, I am, over and over, you will beautifully connect to that oneness. And when you notice that you've drifted into the future or into the past or to a thought, a sound or physical sensation, that's okay. Don't scold yourself. At a certain point, you'll realize, I'm not repeating I am. And ever so gently, drift back to this mantra, I am, I am, I am. It's been said that a mantra is very powerful. It's also been said that a whispered mantra is even more powerful than a spoken mantra. And the ancient teachings tell us that a silent mantra is more powerful than anything. So I'd like us to begin our process of repeating the mantra out loud together three times. Let's say I am. Ready? I am. I am. I am. And now let's whisper it together. I am. I am. I am. 
And now let's begin repeating it silently to ourselves. And if you notice during this process that you're focused on a mood or a feeling or an emotion, just ever so gently drift back to I am. Treat any fluctuation of your mind as a thought form and treat that gently and drift back to the mantra. We'll sit in silence for 10 minutes now and I'll ring a chime at the halfway mark just to allow you to pace yourself. Feel free to meditate with us for as long as you like. And when you're done, I'll seal the meditation with a longer chime. So let's begin silently repeating I am. And remember, having thoughts is okay. No thoughts, flatlining. Thoughts, alive. So when you have a thought, don't scold yourself. Ever so gently, drift back to the mantra. So let's begin.
Please remember to take a few moments before you open your eyes and come back after you've meditated. And after each meditation starting today, we'll end these sessions with a sweet moment of metta. Metta means loving kindness. And so if we can spend a little time flowing the sweetness that we've just connected to back out into the world, creating world peace, creating more love, cultivating oneness, then the world will just be a more beautiful place for all of us to live in. So today's metta moment is for you. Upon seeing another person, and you may see thousands today, or maybe only one, just gaze into their eyes and silently wish them namaste, which essentially means I bow to you. Namaste also has been known to mean I honor the divine in you that is also in me. And when you're in that space and I'm in that space, we are one. And so today, on day one of our 40 days of transformation, our meta moment is to silently say namaste to everyone you encounter. As we're going up and down escalators, looking at people in elevators, reading your emails and texts, all the people who interact and transact with you throughout the day, people just passing you by and the people you see from afar and up close. Today, just take the time to silently wish them namaste. This is David G. from the Sweet Spot of the Universe, and I'll see you on day two. In the meantime, I'll see you in the gap.